and going with the 60 inch cabinet axle, 9 foot 4 inch long SD model. It's got a few upgrades, got a good deal on it, but I didn't buy it because I'm getting a good deal on it. I went with the North Star SD specifically for what it is that I'm doing with the truck and you know compared to I think it's the TEM model or whatnot like CM beds make but what stuck out for me with the North Star bed is that the North Star has the angled toolboxes that are right behind the main front cabinets and I don't know I mean call me you know a little bit form over function but I don't know I just kind of like the way that those angled boxes look it just kind of flows off the bed down into the shallow bed boxes and just looks better and of course it's two more boxes of storage is the other thing so that was a big factor for me I like some of the upgrades that are on it the diamond plate in the front um, but I think like the CM bed, for example, also has the stainless polished fenders. This one does too. That's something I kind of wanted. I like stuff to look good. Outside of that, you know, the headache rack looks basically the same. Like they copy each other. You know, the tail lights are pretty darn similar. And from there, you know, kind of comes down to price too. Uh, but that was probably the biggest thing for me is I just really like the way that, that those angled toolboxes looked. And I mean, I think that the quality is probably similar to the competition. I mean, CM, I, I don't think. Now, there's some other manufacturers out there that I know people would recommend. I think they're pretty wild and crazy. But, you know, trying to keep within a budget, too, was... Um, you know, these beds are now over 10,000 bucks a piece, and that's a lot of money. And um, so some of the cool custom stuff that's out there that's more a little bit boutique-y, you know, you're getting into some big money. And um, just the SD seemed like the right production bed for what it is. I'm going to be pulling goosenecks all the time constantly and but I also got to work out of the truck I'm not just using it as a puller I also got you know I need my hair I need tools I need uh, you know service equipment grease stuff fix stuff you know I, I need to have all my my uh, simple tool set for the most part um, with me at all times got to have air you know got to be able to carry 100 gallons of uh, fuel you know for transfer into equipment gotta have some of the basic necessities and that's where i think like this sd style bed is just it's it's perfect for guys like me farmers and loggers and stuff that you know it's it's the perfect setup low profile still be able not to worry about hitting the neck rails on the bed or anything but you still got quite a bit of storage there so north star sd we're headed to go get it
and we're in and we're off. Got home from Reno last night and had a chance to go over this bed here today and back in my natural habitat. And, you know, looking at it closer, some different things that, some goods and some bads about it. Um, it's a pretty heavy bed. It's pretty solid. It's, you know, I'm uh, happy with the way it's built, you know, for a uh, production bed that's you know, kind of a mass produced style bed like the CM and the Nap Hide and North Star. You know, and it, it looks good. I mean, it's the fit and finish is pretty good. Um, the doors are nice and heavy. This door here is heavy. Um, should be able to handle weight, you know, getting stepped on, all that type of stuff. And, um, you know, nice, pretty nice space. Some of these skirted beds and stuff got little tiny doors and not that this is real big, but it's not bad. It's not bad for, you know, whatever it is to plan to put in there. But these front cabinets are pretty good size and that's probably the most important thing. Um, and then, you know, again, this is where, this is what sold me and how such a small thing, but it did it sold me on the north star is that cabinet right there is that just it looks right it looks it just flows better and like i said it's more storage it's kind of nice um you know these cabinets here or trays these are all right i guess we'll see how that holds up one thing a couple small things are a little bit of a concern this door lat or this hinge up here kind of has a little bit of a little bit of play in it when you shake the door we'll see how long that actually holds up before i'm welding that back on um you know fit and finish is pretty good for the most part you know the diamond plate kind of a little bit of a spot here it kind of could fit a little bit better um but the welding all looks pretty good on it. I had no complaints on that. You know, one thing I thought was kind of funny is I'm going to grind these off. Three, four. Four little buttons. What's up with that? Those didn't get ground off before paint, apparently, from the factory. Um, but otherwise, it's a pretty nice bed. Pretty nice bed. Pretty happy with it. You know, the door latches and stuff. We're all pretty, pretty smooth, uh, pretty good. Now these plastic ones, this will be interesting to see how, how well they hold up. I said good storage, there's no doubt about it. It's good, good storage. This goes up in there a little ways. Get quite a bit of stuff in here. But these little puppies here, we'll see how this holds up. This is, I don't know, we'll see. But I like, uh, got a plug there, got a seven way in the gooseneck well, gotta have that. Now that's something that I would have done differently. I would have put that in on the driver's side because like I always, like a lot of us, I lean over, right? We lean over our flatbed to get to the hitch and you know, now it's on the other side. Hey, the driver's side, you're on the driver's side already, you know, when you're work, working long hours and you're in a hurry and tired and everything, little stuff counts. I gotta walk all the way around to the other side of the truck to be able to plug that in. Where I'm already over here on the driver's side, right here. So that's something that's kinda, I wish it was on the other side. Small, yes, but when you're tired and you're in a hurry and you know, it's it kinda stuff like that counts. Um, I'm a little disappointed with this storage well here down below. I, I thought I saw in the advertisement that this could be like a shovel storage or whatnot. It does not go in very far. I think we're like 32, I haven't measured, maybe it's like 32 inches deep. Not as deep as I thought it was supposed to be. Um, but for the most part, 
it's it's pretty nice pretty nice i'm happy with it i'm gonna change these out we're gonna go to maximum lights get the clears everything with the stainless bezels we're gonna do a few things here to jazz it up just a pinch um my plan for this bed how i intend to set this up is very similar to my current truck and where i've got my montezuma up high i've got miscellaneous tools down low love my montezuma got a new i have the exact same montezuma box 30 inch by 15 coming on ups today actually and it's gonna go right up there to the top same exact spot where this one's at and so i'm looking forward to some more organization down there but that's kind of my setup that i've got so the plan here is is the montezuma will go up here on top and then fit my cordless uh, electric tools and my air tools um stuff like that all go in here like i said i'm still trying to figure out how i'm gonna finish this off because i'm not too sure about these little these little trays i don't know we'll see how that kind of they're kind of sharp a little bit but and then on the other side again same theme with uh air compressor i got my air compressor on my passenger side my hose reel i got my 100 gallon transfer tank i've got uh, shovels i got everything that i need for what i do for a living for my operation uh, and uh so my plan is to put a wheelbarrow compressor up here up on top right here in that spot not too sure where the hose reel is going to go just yet don't have that figured out so you know how this kind of stuff is kind of got to fall in place and there's going to be room for a 48 inch tank up in the front again going with a very similar style that i have here this is kind of i've actually done this this is like the third truck i've done like this and i've got these simple trays in here that i keep on my you know all kinds of hardware i got my hardware in there i've got electrical supplies i've got pipe fittings i've got fuses i've got lots of stuff in there and so i'm actually going to get those are just the loose drawers i think i'm going to actually get those drawers right there in the actual cabinet remove these trays out get these out of here and install that sliding cabinet with those drawers in this box right here and again that'll hold all my hardware all my supplies and everything that um you know you never know when you're out in the field you never know when you you need a pin you need a cotter key you need all kinds of different things right um other than that that's kind of there it is there's the north star sd and this is going to be going on a uh, 22 ram 3500 limited cabin chassis and i uh, instead of spending a lot, a lot of money on a really fancy you know custom welding shop um you know almost kind of boutique type uh bed i i splurged and i went for the limited package on the truck because i spent a lot of time in the cab a lot of miles going down the road hey why not uh, live in a little luxury huh man so you know for a production bed that from these you know kind of you know nap hide north star cm um pretty happy pretty happy for what what i spent it's a pretty darn nice bed should work out well and as far as you know service doing when you're working out of this you're doing a lot of service work um you know keeping equipment going and like i said you need to store a lot of a lot of parts supplies parts that sort of thing that's why i'm excited about going from your traditional flatbed to this i would call this a light service bed uh light duty you know i say this truck's gonna be a dual purpose light duty service work um if i got you know big time service work i'm gonna come get the the big boy with the crane and the welder and that whole whole gig right there but for you know hooking up to this trailer 
right here and many of the other ones that we have um, on a daily basis moving equipment around this is going to be an ideal setup for me i was real happy with the dealer service that i got on this north star bed feed world out of reno nevada took care of me uh, i've actually talked to a different dealer uh, i won't say any names but uh, called them actually first and trying to get a measurement on how far it is from there to there how much room i have to mount an air compressor and that particular salesman didn't even want to bother to be out in the sun and go grab a measurement with a tape measure he just looked it up on some specs and said well the door's this wide so it must be 21 inches it's over 40 inches across there and uh feed world i asked them the same question she called me back in five minutes with an actual measurement on a tape measure and uh i was happy about that to to uh, get actually some decent service. And so Feed World Nevada is great with dealing with this and a good price. And, and it was definitely well worth the drive to jump in the mega cool cab and go flying over Donner and go grab it. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. Cause you try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away